The hottest race day on record was in 2006, with temperatures reaching 82 degrees. Since Sunday's forecast looks like it could match that heat, Run Vermont is taking extra precautions to make sure runners stay safe and cross the finish line on race day. You got to take whatever is thrown at you when it comes to the weather. You can't control it. Despite the hot weather forecast for Sunday's Vermont City Marathon, Kristen Corsell is excited to run. It's a celebration for the whole city. She has run in 29 marathons and is no stranger to high temperatures. I uh, ran Chicago in 2007 when it got up to 92. Organizers ended up canceling the event mid-race. I can really remember vividly being on Michigan Ave and having um, helicopters flying over me uh, with a loudspeaker saying, you know, runners, please walk, slow down. But Corsell is not worried about the weather this weekend. I don't think the forecast that we're looking at is something that I would say that's too hot to be safe. To ensure that runners only have to start this race once, organizers have made a few additions to the course. We don't usually put ice rovers on the course. This will be a first time initiative. Run Vermont Executive Director Peter Delaney says four golf carts will be driving around race day with ice buckets. Allowing the runners to grab some ice to either uh, ingest or stick in their hat or down their shirt or down their shorts, wherever in their shoes, wherever they want to put it. They will also be adding extra misting and ice stations to combat the heat. And to measure it, Delaney says they use a special technique. The wet bulb globe temperature actually considers the ambient air temperature, relative humidity, cloud cover, what the sun conditions are, whether there's breeze or not. They will have measuring devices at three different locations of the course, taking readings every hour. We're reasonably optimistic that uh, we're going to have a hot race. Um, but uh, one that we'll be able to finish. So while Delaney believes the conditions are not ideal, with the right preparation, it could be a race for the books. Race organizers also say they will be using a colored sign system during the event to inform runners of the weather conditions, green being the lowest alert and black meaning the conditions may be unsafe to continue. Live in the newsroom, Abby Isaacs, WPTZ News Channel 5.